What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mop, coming back to y'all to show y'all um, how I remove the mat out of my hair. I wasn't going to show y'all, but I figured I might as well since I showed y'all the first time um, a long time ago. But um, let me go ahead and turn around and show y'all exactly how I'm doing this. Now, like I mentioned before, this is all I got in my hair right now. And this is something that I did use the whole process. It's called Lustus S Curl No Drip Curl Activator and Moisturizer. And this is a holy grail for my head and for the mat that the matted up parts in my hair. So I don't care who you are. You, your hair is going to matter when you wear your braids for a long time or when you wear a sew in for a long time. But when you have your hair in any position for a long time, your hair is going to matter because it's going to start locking if you don't eventually take it out. So, anyways, I'm going to turn around and show y'all exactly what I did to my hair. Like like I said, ain't nothing in it but S-Curl No Drip Spray. And let me see if I can get it a good angle. And so, so far, I've taken this much out. Now, there's still a braid under here, but that braid is connected somewhere this way. So, I can't take it out yet. So, this is where I started it. And so far, I got that much to go. Now, this was real matted up. I had to gently pull it apart. So, now I'm going around to the next section. In the next section, you probably can't see the matted up area, but I can feel it in here. It's like a thick, um, gooey consistency right now so what you do is you take your hair and you start you start pulling from where your hair is matted up at you start gently gently pulling gently <laughs> okay and just start pulling like this pulling the matted areas loose a couple strings at a time and just keep going And just gently pull it as you go. Now, if you need to, go back and pull it again the other way. Just to make sure you got it a loose. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing and understand what I'm saying. Okay, now here's a good piece right here. This piece is matted up. You might not can see it because I got moisturizer on it. It's stuck right here. This piece right here is like clumped together. So what you do is you take this. Start right here. It's clumped up now. And you just take it and you gently pull it apart. Pull it apart. And you got to slowly pull it apart. Now see how much of that done came loose? Keep going and just slowly pull it apart with these two fingers right here. Or these three fingers, however you want to do it. And just keep going until you reach that end of that braid. Now see how that came loose? I can run my fingers through it for the most part. Then I got another piece right here that's clumped up. This piece right here is clumped up. And I can feel a knot right here. All this hair matted up together. So you just take it and you gently pull it apart. First you want to take the braid loose a little bit more. Now the braid part, that's probably going to come loose easy. But what, what's not going to come loose is the part that's matted up. The part that's matted up lies right underneath the braid, which is like right along in this section right here. And you just take this, all this clumped up right here in my hand. I don't know if y'all can tell the difference. And now if you go through and you can pull some more pieces through. All this right here is clumped up. I can feel a, a knot ball right there. So you just take this and you gently pull it apart. Now this might be a little time consuming, but this is what you got to do if you don't want your hair to, you know, fall out in bundles because if you just take the comb and comb through this it's coming out on the flow for real it's, you're gonna pop it out 
So it can be taken or loose. You just got to be gentle and have patience. Gently pull it apart. Now see how that came loose right there? You just keep going. taking it and I'm just pulling it and you just keep pulling it as you go now it might take a little bit more patience um, to take your hair out than it do to put it in because see now that you got these knot balls are loose you have to go in there with the wide tooth comb until you find another one don't comb through it when you find it let the comb like stop at where it's at and then you go pull it apart okay if you find one now see how easy that is to come loose? Now you're going to have some shedding because that's what your hair is supposed to do. Just keep pulling. This is very important, y'all, because this is probably the number one reason why people who, have, who wear braids and stuff for a long time lose their hair because they don't take the time to properly... Take it a loose. For real. Even though it's time consuming, it is 100% absolutely necessary for um, to prevent so much breakage. You know, because of that matting up part. Now what you don't want to do, you don't want to take this comb and comb through this. Cause see, this is stuck. This will come through. You don't want to comb that. You just want to keep going. Have patience, and it'll come out piece by piece to keep you from losing your hair as much. Well, to keep you from losing your hair. Don't worry, you're going to shed either way, but you ain't going to pull out this clump of hair. I guarantee you that. If you take your time and do it, you will not be... Um, disappointed. Now this right here is another um, locked up piece. This is kind of what you would call locked. That's act exactly what dreads do when they start to lock. They develop this um, mat right here. Then if you leave them in there and you keep retwisting them and retwisting them, eventually they're going to get stuck. So that's just how dreadlock, uh, dreadlocks are formed. So just keep on going. Now you got some more right here. Spray a little bit smoke. Get some moisture. Rub it in. And keep on pulling. I'm mostly finished so I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna keep doing this off camera and I'm gonna come back to y'all when I get done with the whole process I will be back when my hair is fully done and a loose and show y'all what it's looking like okay and that's all I gotta say and I will holla at y'all later bye